everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. And uh, here are we in a uh, 777 Freighter, and uh, I'm going to show you uh, uh, some control buttons and uh, what they do in the airplane. And I hope you enjoyed the video. So here are we on the left hand side, captain side of the airplane. And uh, well, here we see the oxygen mask. This one also has a test. And with the blinker you can see the flow of the oxygen. And here we have the, the window controls. So that this is the unlock. If you push it here past the cradle, you can open the window with this winch. Then we come here and have some uh, light control switches. Here we have the light for this. And then we have the joint light that's probably the one here. Oh, this one. You pull them. This is the brightness control. Pull. Brightness control. This one is the nose or steering tiller. Then we have here an EFB. We have here brightness, power, on, off, and here you have some applications where you can choose from. Nowadays they normally use an, uh, an iPad or another platform for SEFB2. And here on the left hand side you have some heater control, so you have the shoulder heat, off, you can turn to high, and you have some food heaters. Here we have some control for other panels. Let's see. Display brightness. Uh, they got the storm light on. Off. Our display. We have the control of the brightness. Here you have the Enough display. The inner one here should be the control of the radar picture, and now we have some flood lights. Then here, if you have uh, some problems with uh, air data displays or navigation, I think CD. Alternate display. Display control is normally with the left hand eight aims on this side. And here we have some R data alternate. Off. Here, the brake source. Here we can control the inboard display multifunction. Here we can do icons. Multi function with this one you can control it here and you can select different pages and if we select it enough we get enough display we have a standby horizon, the CDU, it has some functions, we have a flight management computer number one, access to SATCOM, and you have some alternate control for your EFIS, for this one here, then I can select EFIS. And you can select here the bio settings and VOR map and other display you want to see. You go out of it and off. 
pace play control there's this one open it for that one so I can uh, this one select and I can send engine status synoptics electric hydraulic fuel air flight controls so you would use this if this panel has some problems you can select there the alternate go back turn that one off and you have to select maintenance information and you get it here normally this one displays FMS So these are the buttons for the uh, communication, data communication between ATC. You can, they can uh, reject, cancel, and accept. That would be the, the messages would be displayed here. That your messages come in. Here your EFIS uh, control panel. Here you can do your barometer settings that are selected here. And here you can select the different pages you want to select on your graph. Display. Normally it's in map. Let's align Adiru. Then we'll get a, a nicer picture on that one. Here we have the autopilot control, the flight control panel. You can select your autopilot, the flight director, auto throttle, and different modes you want to climb. Speed, heading, the vertical speed if you want to go uh, descent or uh, climb, and the altitude settings with the variations and the uh, APU disconnect. Here you see the um, IRS are aligning. We have uh, seven minutes and 20 seconds. Well, I'll move to the um, observer's position. Then here, normally here, you would be uh, an interphone um, handset. As it's a freighter, this one doesn't have it, but we have the printer located here. Light control. And then we have uh, your observer's control, uh, audio control panel. Here you have your trims, aileron, rudder. Here you can turn a call. If you want to call somebody, ground call, crew rest, the passengers uh, in the uh, in the back, floodlights, center CDU, uh, VHF uh, of our radio control number three, the left hand uh, audio control panel, the left hand side, the radio control panel, right hand side, here you have your uh, TCAS and ATC. And here, the fire uh, shut off handle for the engines. Then you pull it and you discharge it when you select the site for the bottles. If I push the overheat test, you'll see the lights come on. Here we have the stabilizer cutout. Or if you have a runway stabilizer situation, you can select the switches. So the control or the motors, hydraulic motors to the stabilizers are cut off. The engine control, run and off. The throttles, 
reversers. Uh, pitch control for your stabilizer. Speed brake handle. Flap handle. Here you have your stabilizer indication for the position. You have here on the left side, the right side, and parking brake handle. So at the moment, the parking brake is off. And here you have some alternate flap control. If you have uh, normal flaps not working, you can select alternate on this one and you can retract or extend with this one. And we have some display control for these ones, brightness control for the displays. Here we have the uh, auto brake settings. For takeoff, you do RTL, and once you're landing, you can select whatever uh, auto brake setting you want for the conditions for the. Um, uh, for the for the uh, for the conditions for the runway uh, gear handle now I would not be able to uh, select gear if I would want to do it on ground <laughs> I can press this uh, lock override and you can uh, select handle lock uh, if your gear doesn't work you have here your ultimate gear down uh, switch now here you have display control first officer interest control panel now let's go to the overhead here we have standby compass the light control Ice, wing and engine, seat belts. Here we have the electric control part. The APU is on, so the APU generator is supplying the power. The engines are off, so the IDG and the backup generators indicate off. Primary flight control, the uh, Adiru hydraulics. So uh, these are the uh, demand. The, the normal engine. These are electric. These are air pumps. You see it here. These are electric. Normally all the off lights are off. Uh, well, if you have nothing left, you can always deploy the uh, rem air turbine. Window heat. Emergency lights. Service interphone. Uh, Supreme oxygen. Yeah, this way you can uh, deploy the mask in the back. Cockpit voice, normally in auto. Uh, fire the shut off handle for the APU. Although APU at the moment is uh, on, uh, is uh, self uh, controlled. If there is a fire, there will be uh, auto shutdown and uh, auto extinguish. Uh, in the flight, uh, pilots have to do it themselves. And here we have the fire control for the. Main deck, lower cargoes. Start. Yeah, we are at the moment in uh, normal control of the uh, ESC. And there is a backup. Um, <coughs> then we have uh, start ignition. Normally, if you want to start, you select this one to start, and you select this one to run. Once uh, the um, 
engine is uh, at the starter cutout, this one will click back to normal. In the flight, if you have bad weather, you can select with this one the continue ignition. And then here we have the temp controls. Equipment cooling is in auto, we have recirculation fan on. We are in high flow. Temperature control for the uh, upper deck and the flight deck. Backs are in auto. Trim air is the hot air supply to uh, mix with the colder air so we get the right temperature. And the bleed. Engines are off so the bleed is off, not supplied. Pressure control. We have two outflow valves on this air, this air to forward and then aft. Normally controlled in auto, but there is a manual function too. And with cheap wipers, it's for the right side. And here we have the control for the left hand side. Hopefully you like this uh, short explanation of the fly deck for the 777. And I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.